So, you want to play Cook better? Well, Timmy, you've come to the right place. Hello everyone, my name is James Games and welcome back to another TCM video. This is going to be my first video of my How to Play series featuring all of the family members in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game. Basically, this series is going to be about the killers in the game and how to play them to up your guys' family gameplay. For example, I'll be going over one, perks I think is best to use on them and what I personally use, two, their ability skill tree and what I think is the best path in my opinion, three, their attributes and what you should spend them on, and finally four, going through the skill tree on how to get the build. I also want you guys to remember that these are just my opinions on what's best to use for killers and my type of playstyle. It's totally fine to disagree with me. If you have a build you think is good, then share it down in the comments below. I'd love to see your guys' build. All right, so starting off with the skill tree, we're gonna go in here. This is the path you're gonna wanna take. You wanna go up here, you wanna take a right. Obviously you gotta get all this stuff. You know, if you have all the points, you should've spent it all. I'm gonna go through here, but the biggest thing that is important is you're gonna wanna grab these three things here. You're gonna wanna grab the siphon, which increases your blood harvesting by up to seven if you can get it to level three. You wanna get blood banker, which will, max, will maximize your blood storage capacity to 30% at level three. And the final one is going to be Universal Donor. This will increase your blood bucket collection by 40%, which is really good. I'm gonna go through the skill tree again, just so you guys know, because I know it can be kind of confusing. I've, I've watched a couple of other people's videos. They don't really show some of the builds sometimes. So you guys don't have to worry about that. I'm going to show you the entire skill tree so you guys can spec it to how I play. This is my personal thing. I never change this loadout. This is what I use all the time. So you obviously wanna go through here. You want to grab these obviously you want to get those attribute points because they're going to be pretty important later don't go left go on the right obviously you can go down here if you want but if you want to get the perks it's just a straight line through here go up here you go through here yeah grab that come up here you take a right you got blood banker right there go up here and then up here and then finally here so pretty much Pretty much that's pretty much it i will zoom out so you guys can see it fully there you guys go but this is the path i personally take and what i think is going to get you the best perks for cook because cook has a very specific play style he's not really made for killing but yeah we'll get into that in a second all right so now that you got the skill tree all maxed out hopefully you got your attribute points it's time to look at the abilities and perks starting with seek in case you don't know what this does you can hear noisy victims, highlighting them and pinpointing their location for a short period of time. This is a very strong one. This is a very strong ability. This is the skill tree. So once you get up to level three, it's going to take a long time to get. I played the game for like six hours straight, five hours straight with some friends. It took forever to get this leveled up, but you will get it eventually. And this is the path you're going to want to take. Level one, I think this is pretty much nothing. So you want to go this way. Level one is reduce ability drain by 30%. That is really good for a level one. You could obviously go up here and it could probably increase it, but this is what I personally use. I think it's honestly the best, in my opinion, how I play. So you want to get the reduce ability drain by 30%, and you go to level 2, victim detection rate increased by 20. So you're getting your speed back pre pretty quickly. 30% is honestly very... You'll, you'll notice it. You'll notice it if you played without anything. And then level 2, you can increase it by 20%. That pretty much almost gets you to see the entire map. You could probably see almost the entirety of Gas Station if you're standing in the center. Really good. And then obviously the third one is going to be highlighted victims are marked for the entire family. So everyone, anybody that you mark, your two other teammates can see and then they can go after them. This is going to be really good while also using voice comms because when you're playing Cook, you have to use voice comms. So you can talk to your team and stuff. So yeah, this is the skill tree you want. Make sure to take a look at it. It's pretty much left and then all the way to the right. This is the best build, I think. The recharge is super fast. Hearing people farther away is just phenomenal. And then you can mark it for people so they can see. Because the thing you got to understand, and I'm also going to be doing a couple a couple gameplay, a little bit of gameplay of the cook. You got to remember, guys, you are not meant to really go after and kill people. You have to break chases when you're cook. You're never going to catch survivors. Only if they're in a corner and they're out of stamina are you ever going to get it. Your main primary focus is to support your teammates while also getting as much blood as possible to get grandpa to level five as possible. And to also secure the property with your padlocks. We'll get into the gameplay with the padlocks too. Universal donor, blood banker, siphon. They're the best perks for cook in my opinion and in my playstyle. For the grandpa ability slot, it really doesn't matter what you use. Obviously, if you go down the skill tree, you're gonna get these ones. These are the ones that you're gonna get. I personally use Excited Grandpa because I'm getting Grandpa up really fast and I'm getting those levels now and him screaming more each level is honestly in my opinion a little bit more efficient than you know well 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 or in Wyndham like that 
It obviously is completely up to you. You can choose whatever you want in here. You can choose stamina drain. It's totally fine. Use whatever you want. I personally use excited grandpa. Savagery. All right, this is where it gets interesting. So a lot of people would think that you'd want to invest into endurance. I personally say that that's a no. You are not meant to really chase people. Like you're going to feel a noticeable difference when you're trying to chase people. But you're really not supposed to. Cook is not a chaser. You know, he, he's not meant to really kill people. His whole thing is blood harvesting. So when you get your 27 attribute points from the skill tree, you want to put them all into blood harvesting. This is going to get you the most blood as possible with these three perks. Next one, just put them all in savagery. Pretty much simple, pretty much done. I would rather hit more than run more. You, you get what I mean? It's like, that's already a lot of damage. You're really just meant to just support your teammates. All right, that's the biggest thing people have to remember. I think when people play Cook, a lot of people try to be a little bit too aggressive. They try to chase people. You're an old man, you know? You're old, you're you're like literally the slowest killer on the in the roster. So now we're gonna hop into a couple games. We're gonna use this build and I'll see you there. All right, everybody got a family house night map. Very nice, very lovely. I, told I would have to say to Cook probably shines the here. most on this map. This what is probably his best map, for sure. Up. So when you're playing Cook on this map, Always check the fuse, make sure it's not here. No, it's not. You want to run because people move fast nowadays. This game goes by really quick. Collect as much blood as possible. This is like the only map where I would actually say it's worth uh, just getting as much blood as possible and then feeding it to grandpa, like at least maxing him out. Put a padlock on this ASAP. Lockity lock. Check the blood spawns. You can always use your hunter focus ability, whatever you want to call it. Right, blood bucket there, and there's a blood bucket there. It's always a good idea to try and me memorize as much spawns as you can. It's always a good idea. I'm gonna try something here. I'm gonna try and see if I can mark them so you can see their aura. I marked an aura for Leland for you. Um, Leather. Another thing, big tip. Use your comms when you're playing Cook. You have to use voice chat. Even if no one is talking, just just do it. You know what I mean? Because they'll, they'll, they'll get the message eventually. So look at that. It's already almost level two. We're going to collect this blood bucket. We're going to be sitting pretty right now. So. I'm going to come up here. What I like usually doing. I usually put a padlock on this as well. Because why not? There's no crack that they can crawl through under there unless they go through here. Which I am going to kick this. Okay, that was just that was sissy. You can always use your ability. Try not to use your middle mouse ability too often. The last thing you want is it running out because sometimes you just wouldn't know someone's chasing somebody. Eric, oh god, you scared me. Johnny come around here. There's trouble right behind. My god, you better clean this up. Alright, so let's start using our noise. Someone just went hidden. That I think is the generator. Yep, generator. They're standing still. She got him up to three and a half, which is it's always good. Foggy. Stand here. I know you around here somewhere. See, they're gonna probably start moving now. Marking one, marking one. Gotcha. Mark is the Ana. There is one just under the stairs. All right, we're gonna let that go a second. Come around over here. They couldn't have gone much further. I don't want to be as quick as you can with your markings. March Anna, she's right there. She went crouched. I ran out, ran out of my ability. Alright, I'm gonna go over here. They have to be getting out by now. When you see the children, X's on their head. If I'm gonna start collecting some more blood. Remember, you're not made to kill. I made to support. Heard a little bit still in the basement. I'm gonna collect this bucket. This is gonna get him back up. A hundred's really good. Someone's upstairs. I can't think she drink all this craziness going on. Found you. She slid the back door open. So this is where Cook really shines. Ooh. 
Ooh. Heard one of them. Oh, Julie's in the dining room. Julie's dining room. She's running upstairs. Julie's upstairs. She just jumped out the window. Back window, back window. She's still out here. See, always pretend like you don't see him. I know she's literally right there. She was here. Wait a minute. There she is. All right, I got it, Julie. She's dead. This is gonna give us a lot of blood, which is awesome. This is for your own good. Nice little Gallahan reference there. I like that. McConaughey. Can't focus. Need to clear my head. That's the generator still. So I was gonna keep an eye on that. You can mark it. It gets rid of it. Shut the heck up! I can't hear nothing with all this dang racket. One still in the basement. He's standing still. One's upstairs. One's upstairs. She's right here, Anna. She's trying to get the middle exit open. I'm mean, gonna struggle with her. I need help. Punched in the nuts. She's running in the kitchen. She she went silent. Anna's right here, right here, right here on me, on me, on me. She's going through the crack. I'm going to mark her for you guys. There's her aura, there's her aura. I'm going to keep marking her so you guys can chase her. I'm pulling her out. Get on out of there. Get on out of there. Awesome. Nice work. I'm gonna go feed gramps. I won't be able to in time, will I? That's good. That's good. You can get him to scream while also feeding him before it. Last one's coming. Dangerous one. Oh, she's she's out in the front. She's out in the front. Oh, she she just gave up. GG's. All right, so that's how you want to play Kurt. That's a that was a really good match. That's how I usually play them. Had that door locked. It's the only place where they can't go through a crack. It forces them to go through the cracks if they're in the porch area. But if they're coming out of that basement exit, they only got one way to go. All right, got ourselves another this. on the Something same map, but it's on Dawn. Gotta be done. Family house. All right, you guys know the usual thing. Always go through your fuse boxes. They're good to remember. He's a little bit easier to defend. All right, one more bucket of blood. We'll be sitting pretty. This last one right here, and then I'm gonna just instantly do it because it's right here. Oh, uh, actually, since this one's right here, might as well get the extra. It's it's super close. Now I'm gonna feed him. One more bucket would max us out, but it's not worth it. You want to put the pressure on him as soon as possible. Drink up now. All right, now we're gonna start putting some locks down. Yeah. 
like padlock in this door. I'm gonna padlock the porch door. See, he knows what he's doing. That's a smart hitchhiker. He's placing a trap on the fuse. I can't count on no one around here. Let's use some of let's use, let's use some marking. I got you now. Honest there. Julie's there. You can't hide from me. <laughs> One's getting something. Alright. Uh, no sense in waiting. We gotta end this. Just keep collecting blood. Nothing's happening, just keep collecting blood. <laughs> They'll never see this. It always works. Just always remember, when you play grandpa or when you play cook. When you play cook, you're just helping grandpa out. Close this. Give him a crack. You don't want to trap that one because of the crack, for obvious reasons. I marked a Connie there for you, Leatherface. Ooh. I can't hear nothing. It's too foggy. Everybody shut the hook up. I can't hear nothing with all this dang ring. Mark the uh, one of the victims, she's crawling over a table. Like some more blood. And I think what I'm gonna do, it's kind of an interesting play. Sometimes you can do it, sometimes you don't. Since the since it's here, the hatch thingy. Put a pad like theirs. So if someone tries to go around from the front, we'll know. There's a Julie who keeps running around. Oh, I hear another one. Honey going through a crack. Just right there. She's uh, trying to get this open. Alright, I got her off the lock. The Julie and the Connie are still here. In the basement. I'll keep trying to mark them for you as much as I can to help you, Bubba. Oh, she, Julie came up the basement. She went back down. I'll try and mark her again. Ah. Just get this over with. Just doing a quick check. A lot of noises going on. She just stabbed Grandpa. They just completed an objective. I think they got a fuse. Yeah, they took a fuse. Well, Gotta protect these box. Somebody... Oh, oh Sonny's here on. in the sitting room. <laughs> He's running up the basement. He's trying to rush fuse box, guys. I'm gonna need some help. He's right here. Sonny opened up a chute. They're trying to go for a basement exit. They just turned the front generator off. It's 
There's nothing you can really do in this situation. Remember, there's only so much you can do as cook. Alright, I got Sunny at least. I don't know why he ran back down, but whatever. Power of cook, man. You don't got much stamina, but your broomstick gets hard. That up. It was this one, unfortunately. So what I can do? Take this padlock. You can put it back on this one. But see, here's the catch. If you if I had this padlock on already, then I couldn't put it on because it broke the padlock as well. So we basically added an extra lock. That's what I mean. Like sometimes it's not good to really use your padlocks early. We couldn't let Johnny spring no love child around here. This ain't personal. Now get back here. Julie just keeps losing basement. All right. I think one of our teammates is over there. Just gonna keep marking her as much as I can. Collect some more blood. Where Best thing we can, can do right now is try and get Grandpa go. to level five. Nice, good job, Bubba. See if this bucket is full. It is full. Let's go. All right. Take this now. It'll perk you right up. Yeah, I don't the exit. So then we'll just go turn all the powers back on. So there you go. That's another game again. Didn't go that well. They got the run open. But it is what it is. All right. That is the end of the video. Thank you guys, everybody, so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you guys want, leave a suggestion of what killer you want me to make a video on next down in the comments below. And who knows? It might be in the next uh, video in this series. But yeah, thank you guys everybody, so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Try the build out. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later. Hey,